Okay, so we're making a video today on how to sign into the Romula app. This is a homemade video, so apologies if you can see anything dodgy and shaking. Um, so we're gonna do this from the get-go. So we're gonna start by assuming you've downloaded the Romula app. Here we are, Romula. Uh, we're gonna create an account. Country, United Kingdom comes up as standards, that's fine. Um, and this is the important part. We want to select Romula Tech for electricians, EV installers, telecoms, anything like that. It's Romula Technology, okay? So we're clicking there. Enter your activation code. Uh, Scottish electricians on this one. Now, the reason we're putting this in is it allows us to send the certification as to prove you've got all your proper electrician licenses. I'm spelling that wrong. Electricians straight through to the guys that activate recruitment um, and it cut down the amount of steps you've got to go through to. Scottish electricians, have I spelled that wrong? Capital E. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, there we go. It's capital E. Capital S, capital E. Okay, so we're gonna, it's going to take a bit of a time, but I'm going to show you this in real time, okay? Um, my name's Andrew. Richards. Um, at this point, just to let you know, you're going to be putting in some information you might not have to hand. So I made a little note, actually, of what you should need. All right, your national insurance number you'll need, your VAT number of your company, and your company registration number, which you can get from Company's House. Um, you probably know all of this, but you won't have it to hand. So make sure you make a note of that before you start, and it'll make it easier. Um, as far as email address, you need this and you'll need to verify your email as you go along. And your date of birth. Um, obviously you're putting your real date of birth for now though, we'll just say there. Accept terms and conditions down the bottom. Um, city, this is important for um, getting assigned the tasks that are close to you. Password, you're making up a password, um, and this will need to be a combination of letter, letters and numbers. Uh, so for today, we're going to put in one capital, um, Too weak. Okay, so we'll put a little symbol at the end. We'll put the pound sign at the end of that one. Hmm. Roma 1920. This is just my example password. Obviously, you'd put in what the password you want. That's yeah, too weak. Hmm. Okay, let's do a more complicated one then. Right, we'll try again. Let's go. A D S nineteen twenty one hash A D S nineteen twenty one hash. Create account. Okay, so that password was good enough. It did say maybe use a stronger one, but that was good enough. Okay. Now this is the sticking point I found because it straight away <clears throat> opens up on this part of the screen where you need to upload your certificates, okay? Don't do that. Don't upload your certificates. You want to go down where this little red bar is here, complete your profile. This is very important. You need to do this first, okay? Um, sometimes you'll see with this one, you'll you'll have a little lock on there and you'll go into it, but it, it won't let you complete the task because you haven't completed your profile. So number one step, don't go here, go down here with the little red boxes, okay? Um, and you can see we're, we're pending verification. So pending verification on that. So let's let's open our email and see if we got sent an email. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go, verify your email. So that's already landed in my inbox. So let's do that first. Verify your email and my account's been activated. 
Okay, that just opened in the web browser, so we can close that now. Bang, bang, and we go back to the Roman app. So that's done. Location. I've put in Portsmouth, I've put it once a bit more of an accurate location of where I live. So let's put in my office here. We're in uh, uh, PO6, 3LZ. Uh, and then the street is uh, Western Road. This is going to help when you get your jobs because it will show the you accurate jobs of where you are not, what, 80? 1,000. Um, accurate jobs for where you are. So that's worth doing. Okay, so you can see, look, you see the email address now is, is verified, that's all done. Phone number, um, I'm gonna put my real phone number. Save changes, just in case it wants to send me something. Okay, national identification number. This is what I said we needed at the beginning, remember? Took a note of it. Um, obviously, for purposes of this, that's not my real, real number, but you type in your real number. One, two, three, ho. Oh. 07D. Boom. Okay, and now there's no more bits on here that are red, but company details, this is important. You need to fill this in, okay? Because if you don't put your registered company details in, you, you won't be able to complete any jobs. So enter details, company name. Right, we're going to go, we're going to get two handed because I reckon I can pull this off. Hmm. Activate, let's call ourselves. Activate electricians. And we're at a uh, thousand Western Road, Portsmouth, PO uh, 63 LZ. Phone number. I know we've put this on already, guys, but of course. This could be my company phone number at this point, 07546067712. And why is it important to put your phone number in? Well, sometimes jobs will go on the system um, and they might they might be call out jobs that you get paid more if you do within a certain time. Um, so the guys at Romla, rather than just putting them on the app, they might call you and say, hey, there's new, new jobs on there so you can get them as quick as possible and charge as much as possible, okay? Um, and here we need our company registration number, which I told you to have ready. Uh, 1172020210 and my VAT number because I want to be able to claim VAT on my jobs. 341 326829. If you're not VAT registered, then obviously you don't have to put that in. 20% um, that's UK rate, so leave that. Now, that effective date, that is today. That is not when you got VAT registered, that is effective from today. Okay, submit request. Now what happens is the guys at Romola now are gonna manually check this. Okay, so there might be a bit of a lag. Um, oh, this is good, agree and sign. Read through all this, it just says, use responsibly, that kind of thing. You click the red button and then you get to draw straight on your screen. Press done, it's thinking. Okay, see this, pending approval, okay? I've signed up the other day um, with another uh, another example business, uh, and it can take a, a little bit of time for this to come through, okay? It won't necessarily go through immediately. Um, so it's worthwhile at this time going to get a nice cup of tea. Uh, come back to it in 30 minutes, come back to it in an hour. If you were to come back to this, maybe after 24 hours, if it hasn't come through, Call um, one of the team and and, and they can uh, they can chase that for you. Okay, um, now I'd be uh, my one probably won't come through because you saw I put in dummy data, uh, so mine will never get properly approved. Uh, but let's pretend that it has. Uh, you can then go on and it was asking on this job for these particular certificates, um, and you, you sign here and it says please make sure you've sent your certificates to the team at Activate Recruitment. Um, and say yes, we have. So you email those over. That's right, and then you email them over, okay? Um, and you saw there before I picked it, ticked it, there was 10 XP points, but I know at the moment um, there's a financial incentive to do this as well, so you get paid out uh, 25 pounds when those have been received and verified. And that is that. And then I'm done, right? And as soon as there are some jobs nearby that I can pick up, they're gonna be on my app. 
boom, there's me near my Starbucks. Um, and as soon as there's jobs nearby, there isn't any near me because I'm in Portsmouth and uh, we're not recruiting here currently. Um, but that's it, simple, simple, okay? Um, and it is just worth checking back every so often. Oh, there's me, <laughs> uh, my, my current balance, um, everything I've had done. I'm not gonna take you into the tutorial of how to, um, how to use the app, but I'm just checking the personal information. Just refresh, see it's still pending approval. So you need to leave up to 24 hours for that before you're able to see the full jobs. Um, any questions, get in touch with the girls on the team, uh, or you can try and contact through the app. Um, any Anything more from you, Alison? Just to make sure you send your certificates through to um, whoever you've been talking to from from our side. Yeah, that's the most important thing. If you if you, if you send through certs, um, and then manually we, we we add those in the back end, okay? Email them over. Email them over, that's right. And that's it, okay? so. That's the key thing, make sure you fill out that personal information because if you don't fill that out, then you're still not live and that just means um, that, that you'll be contacted three or four or five times. It becomes a bit irritating for you guys. So if you, you can get it all done in one go, key information you have before you start, your national insurance number, your VAT number if you're VAT registered, your company number, and make sure you hit that little red bar at the bottom and then afterwards email through your certificates and then we can guide you through the rest of the process and you can get out there and start doing some jobs. Apologies for the shaky camera angles, but um, yeah, any questions? Let us know.